Welcome to Hanoi. After the morning exercises, we usually go grab some quick and delicious breakfast before going to work. For breakfast in Hanoi, the street food is much more popular than the restaurant one because here you have so many choices. You can have the porridge, like what we're having now, or you can have the sticky rice, or some exclusive in Vietnam like bánh cuốn or tàu phu. However, it's still a huge mistake for me not to mention phu, which is like the soul food of Hanoi cuisine. We are at the old quarter, the heart of town. It's very busy here. A lot of people and the traffic is like crazy. However, this is, has always been a must be this place for foreigners who want to discover the Hanoi. Do you know where I am? Can you believe that I'm just like a few steps away from the old quarter? The old quarter that you've seen was very crowded and a lot of people. But in here, it's just like another world. The world of serenity is so peaceful and quiet that you can even hear the birds singing. Well, I think that it's just like if you peel the first layer out, you will come to the, the true soul of Hanoians. Can I say that? And I think that that's the reason why everyone loves to stay in this part of town. I never want to leave. Hanoians are very conservative. They don't change and are hesitant to change at best. It's a bad thing sometimes, but at the same time, they are able to hang on to their old way somehow. Hanoians are very centered around the family and their close friends. Even though the new generation adapt new ways fast, and the strength is that people tend to be very selective and judgmental. Well, as you can see, there are many temples in Hanoi. And that's because we Vietnamese believe in Buddha, Buddhism and Confucianism. And now we are here at Chen Kut Temple, one of the oldest ones. And here we honor the fallen soldiers 